Ethiopia marks a major milestone in technological advancement with the inauguration of Skywin Aeronautics Industries. Speaking at the event, Prime Minister Rabi Ahmed highlighted the remarkable progress the nation has made in drone manufacturing, calling it an achievement that was unimaginable just a few years ago. Zari Bazilik, smart sensor yallacho, beai taggazu. Today at this level we have owned drones which have smart sensor, AI and that can operate reconnaissance and launch strike operations including suicide drones. To see these drones produced here in Ethiopia is astonishing for dreamers like us. It was in a very short period that we reached on owning drones. Thus, going beyond drone conception, our younger fellow Ethiopians have made it a reality. This is prideful that we have owned such a potential of producing a mass of drones. It's very interesting. This potential is a great sense of pride for all Ethiopians and Africans, particularly for us Ethiopians. The Premier emphasized that the development of locally produced drones designed and built by young Ethiopian professionals represents a significant step forward. The potential that we see today is a multiplying factor the power that we own. It enables to produce many drones tactically. If there is any challenge that we face, it helps us to have a solid data an upper hand in attacking and in deterring the moves of enemies ahead of time. This gives a significant multiplying power for Ethiopian Defense Force, Federal Police and other security forces in Ethiopia. Prime Minister Abi stressed the need for continued investment in research, market expansion and the development of smart sensor technologies to sustain this momentum. This huge potential for technology is developmental by its nature. We should do two, three things. First, we have to keep researching Research enables us to get far more results from the current ones and as well as assuring more victories. The second one is looking for extensive markets in Africa. We have to sell in Africa market and update our technology based on the consumer demands. The third one is drone technology, though it is related with aviation. It consists of complex technologies. The first one is AI. We have to extend smart sensors production in other institutions as well, in institutions like INSA and Air Force produce UV drones. Thus, there should be synergy and competition among institutions regarding their specializations. In this way, by not heeding technology rather than sharing and developing it timely, we should make it grow. Crucially, Prime Minister Abi clarified that these advancements alongside progress at home mutual ammunition engineering industry are not intended to fuel conflict, but rather to deter aggression and safeguard peace and stability. <laughs> Homicho Ammunition Engineering Industry of Defense Force produces bombs and artilleries for these UVs drones. And this industry produces UVs. These two companies together contribute to Africa market. Ethiopia isn't only a buyer rather than a seller. Ethiopia isn't only a buyer rather a seller. Ethiopia has started technological works that make it participant rather than expectant. The result being brought through AI is very huge. Defense works are so huge as well. What we have seen here is very great. When all is combined, they help to pass and sustain our country to the next generation. This not only helps to pass a very beautiful nation to the next generation, but also it helps to support the African brother in time of trouble. That way, the defense industry could bring additional market and asset to the nation. What we have seen recently tell us that Ethiopia is on its renaissance. It also implies that Ethiopia owns a reliable potential. With Ethiopia now emerging as a key player in drone technology, this inauguration signals a new era of innovation in self-reliance in the nation's defense and aerospace industries. This industry is part of Ethiopia's broader efforts to achieve technological self-reliance in the security sector.